you become CEO, what was the first big lesson you learned? Like, what was the first shocker for you? Because you can't anticipate a role like that. Well, the first thing was you had to take the plan I had, and you had to put it in the drawer, and you had to close the drawer, because nothing that I thought about what I would do when I led the company made any, any sense with the state of the world. We were in the planning process for, for 09, and a business would come in and say, this is what I think I can do in the next two years. And two weeks later, they call back and say, I have to change it. And so we shut down the planning process, and what I needed to do was to settle you know, 65,000 people down and give them a view of where we're going in one of the most uncertain environments I've ever seen in my life. So it became, that became the cash mantra. We said we gotta focus on what we can control. What we control is our cost, we can control our inventories, we can control what we, what we produce, what we don't produce. We're gonna focus on what we can control. We did not cut research and development. We said we're gonna beat the competition out of the financial crisis by continuing to innovate. And, um, and so we made some decisions early on that we prayed that we could keep. And that all depended on how long the financial crisis lasted, right? And so- How did you sleep during that time? I mean, seriously though, you, you become CEO. It's not a job that anyone can fully prepare you for. And it's the financial crisis. Like, how did you keep your wits up? Because that's a high, you're a woman, so you're highly visible. Highly hard time to do it, and you tell you shut down the planning process. I mean, these are all controversial things. Like, how did you? What did you do to keep your focus, your vision, and make sure you were sleeping so you could think the next day? Well, pure exhaustion has something to do with the sleeping thing because you know because you're working, you know, 15-hour days type of thing. But um, the so first the first thing you have to know about. Um, my development is that through a period of time, I figured out that when I focused on what I could control and forgot about the things that were outside, I mean, I couldn't worry about the economy because I couldn't do anything about it. So I had to have real reads on where the economy was, and then we had to focus on the decisions on what we could do to maximize our um, you know, system through that environment. And we had a big, I mean, ag had, didn't have a global financial crisis, you know? And obviously materials world, automotive industry, oh my God, I mean, it just shut down. I mean, right. and so the, I had a lot, of it, a lot of different businesses in very different places. And so it, it's very empowering to focus on what you can do and to try to get the baggage of what you can't control off your shoulders. 